All right, guys, so look, those who follow the channel know that I am 100% a recipe guy. I mean, sure, brisket, ribs, pork, I love doing all that, but what I really love doing is recipes. And that in here is what today's show is all about. Trust me, this one's going to be good. This is going down on the Lone Star Grill offset smoker, but again, man, this is going to be a recipe cook. This is going to be one you are definitely going to want to try at home. So without further ado, let's throw it it down and let's get started guys first up a little bit of garlic a little salt pepper we're gonna go with one sliced onion and also one red pepper you're gonna saute that up to about 80% get it in a bowl put it on the side once cooled we are gonna make good use of that slit right there that we put in our uh, three and a half inch tomahawk this is a three pounder because we are gonna stuff that cavity I mean, you want to stuff it and you want to make sure it is stuffed to the T. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's a lot of goodness. You better believe it. Next up is my all-purpose salt, pepper, and granulated garlic. I like to get this stuff in bags from Amazon, get it all mixed up, get it in the pantry so I always have it, as this goes on probably about 60-70% of my recipes. All right, guys, we have our uh, three and a half pound tomahawk all stuffed. We have it all rubbed down. And trust me, if you think you know where I'm going with this cook, I am telling you, you don't. At this point, let's get on over to the Lone Star. Let's build that coal bed. Let's start putting that wood in there, get that all ready, and then I'll bring you guys back. So for me, I'm going to use the Lone Star Offset for this. I will smoke it low at about 225 to 250. If you didn't have a Lone Star, you could do this in a pellet grill. You could do it in a, uh, in a master bill. You name it, just get some smoke on it at about two and a quarter, 250, and you will be good to go. All right, guys, look, we are cruising right along. We are just coming up to 250 Fahrenheit internal on the pit. I don't really want it to go much higher than that. Let's bring you guys in. Let's take a look at this steak. Let's get it on the pit. I want to bring it up to probably about 105, 110. And after that, things are going to get really fun. <laughs> so you are definitely going to want to stay tuned for that. So there is not much to say there other than the sun gods are definitely shining on this cook. We will get our three and a half inch tomahawk in. I will hit it with a chef temp because we want to take this up to that perfect temperature. Oh yeah. After about one hour, that tomahawk has reached 100, 105 internal, which is perfect for what I'm going to do next. Let's get it off. Let's get it on the board to rest. So I just want to touch on this side real quick. This is a uh, sweet potato each. They have been baked off and they are probably about 90, 95% done. I am going to get one slab of butter in each and then I am going to stuff it with marshmallows and get them back on the pit for all that melted goodness to happen. I am telling you, man, these alone here are worth a full show. Yeah. So look, let's get these on the pit and we will move on to the next step. All right guys, so look where we are is the marshmallow yams are inside the pit. I've removed the uh, flat top off the firebox and also have lowered the grate. I will build a nice uh, coal bed underneath. Then I will get the uh, steak from in the house, bring it out here and we will finish up this cook. All right, guys, look, now it is time to have some fun. We got our steak down. We got our fire roaring. I will get those marshmallows on just to kind of heat them up. They'll probably be finished off in the house, man. But I'll tell you, man, that steak is looking good. I will let that go for about maybe two minutes or so, and then I will start basting it out with some Kerrygold butter. You know what happens when you introduce butter to any type of flame she is going to flare up and that is exactly what i wanted and that is exactly what is going on oh man there ain't nothing 
of my charred steak. And that was about two, two and a half minutes. We will give it a, a quick flip and we will not only baste it carry gold, we will uh, pour it in uh, carry uh, gold. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Guys, I'm telling you, the smell is definitely in the air. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, look, I will get this over back to the shack. I will get it on the board. We will let it rest for about... You know, maybe two, three, four minutes or so, and then I will start the process to close out the show. All right, guys, that is it, and that is a, a fun cook. And here is the uh, masterpiece right here, and you can see this. Thank you. She is definitely on the rare to medium rare side, which is basically what I wanted. Oh. I mean, we are charred, we are cooked perfect, we are stuffed, man, that is a lot of flavor. Oh, oh man. Guys, look at the juices, man. This is, uh, this is amazing. Maybe a little too rare for the uh, wife, but uh, it is what it is. And look at the inside, man. We are loaded up there with that peppers and onions and that garlic. He's all gonna come out, but what the hell? Oh man, that's perfect. Oh yeah. Wow. I'm gonna grab me a little bit of a slice here for a little taste test. We gotta get some of them onions and peppers in there. Oh yeah. It's amazing, man. That is so good. It's uh, the, the onion peppers with the steak. I, I, I mean, it all comes together, man. I mean, what wow. a treat. All right, guys, I got a duck out of this one. Lone Star Grill, I love it, man. And until next time, we will uh, see you soon. Yeah.